Hey, this is JB from Huffy, and today we're going to be talking about proper tire inflation for your bicycle. Here I have a Huffy Deluxe, and I have a front tire that is not inflated yet. It's been put on the bike, and we're getting ready to inflate it, and we want to make sure that we do it correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the tire is beaded. You can see here the edge of the tire is outside of the rim. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this just a little bit and make sure that the tire is on the inside of the rim all the way around. It looks like we are inside and we're no longer off the bead. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pump and attach it to the inner tube with this nipple here. All right, I have that connected. Move this to a comfortable place. Our gauge on here does go up to 160 pounds. We're not even gonna get close to that. We're gonna be right around 20 pounds. So if you have a pump with a gauge, just kind of make sure that you watch that. You're gonna check it every few pumps. So I'm just gonna start adding. All right, so I'm making sure that my tire is still attached inside the rim and my bead is good. Okay, so it looks like over here on this side, I'm coming out just a little bit, so I'm just going to squeeze the tire. And push it into the proper place. I'm going to keep inflating. If you have a compressor at home, you can use that, but I do caution you to make sure that you have some type of regulation device on it instead of just using a regular air chuck, something that does kind of keep the pressure lower um, as you're inflating, or a gauge um, so that you can see what your pressures are. Bicycle tires inflate much, much faster than a car tire would, so keep that in mind. Um, you don't want to overinflate it and blow your inner tube or blow the tire completely off the rim. So right now I'm checking the bead to make sure that we're all good and we do have a good bite all the way around the rim and the tire. I'm kind of squeezing the tire just to get a feel of, you know, do I have too much pressure in it? If the tire is rock hard, you've got too much going on and you need to let some air out. You do want to have some give on it. Uh, tires that have a little bit of give usually have a better ride quality as well. So we're starting to read up on our gauge here. We're doing okay. I like to stop right around 20 pounds just to give everything a look. And that feels pretty good. You're going to notice on the tire that there is an inflate to or a max pressure or just a number on the side for the PSI. Um, that is a, a tire recommendation from the manufacturer, but we tend to underinflate that so that the tire is more comfortable for use and we don't worry about popping beads off. So it looks like as I'm inflating, my bead is a little bit pushed out over here, so I'm going to let some air out. So to do that, I'm just going to press inside the valve there and let some air out. You can do this with the screwdriver as well if you're not able to get a fingernail in there. So I'm going to go ahead and move this around. It looks like I have come off the bead on the back side there, so I'm going to take a little bit more air out and fix that problem. Make sure that the tire is back inside the rim. Typically the bigger the tire, such as these cruiser tires, the easier it is for it to come off of the bead around the rim. So you need to make sure you watch as you inflate. And this is me just using a hand pump here. If you were using compressed air at home, um, you might not notice this problem as fast and uh, you could pop an inner tube pretty quickly. 
So once again, looking around the rim, making sure that my tire is on the rim. Still doing good. All right, so I'm to 20 pounds on my gauge here on my pump. Just gonna disconnect this. I'm gonna go ahead and put my weight down on the tire just to kind of see how much give it, give it has. Seems to be pretty good. So I'm gonna sit on the bike and make sure that it seems appropriate. So yeah, this is 20 pounds. Even though the tire says 40, 20 pounds has given me proper inflation. There's a little bit of give and flex to the tire. Um, which will lead to a more comfortable ride. Um, so yeah, in this case, I didn't have to go to 40 PSI to achieve uh, a good bead lock around and a good inflation. So you can repeat that same process on the back tire and achieve the same results. Make sure to sit on the bike, make sure that the tires are inflated enough so that the tires aren't bulging out and you should be all good to go. Once again, this is JB. Hope this video helps and have a great day.